So I remember you showing this demo and I'm really excited to see the update for it. Tell me, well, take us on the journey, right? If I understand correctly, using a Raspberry Pi to make sure that people aren't following you or something like that. It, it, yes, correct. So it's funny, I, I give it a lot of conference talks and I never really spend time at the beginning talking about the motivation for the stock or the story behind it. This one was different because I think it's really a key piece of the story. And what it is, is no one likes to be... How this all started is many, many years ago, no one likes to be surprised by their boss showing up unannounced. And so they moved me to a warehouse in the back corner of a military base. And so what I did, I built a small wireless device that let me know anytime my boss was going to be in the area. <laughs> so That's if very my cool. boss entered the building, it would give me the heads up. Not that I was doing anything wrong, just no one likes surprises. So you were looking for SSID or something from yeah, exactly, phone or Exactly, something? Mac addresses coming off, SSIDs coming off, exactly. Because some things randomized, but you can't account for that, so you kind of got to look both ways. And so I had given a talk for the government, and I had theorized on using that to tell if you were being followed. Because if you think about it, even a nation state, very well-trained group, they're going to have cell phones in their pockets. Right, they're going to have TPMS sensors in the tires. They're going to have Bluetooth headsets. And so I basically said, hey, I'm just going to go to three different locations and then see what devices were at all three. Fast forward many years later, an uh, acquaintance of mine who worked for a separate government agency came to me. They had a confidential informant with ties to a very legitimate terrorist organization that we are all aware of. Yeah. And this person, they weren't worried about their own safety. They were worried about the safety of their informant. They yeah. were afraid that if they were followed, it would get their informant killed. He said he asked his agency's tech people. They had nothing like that. He looked for it, couldn't find anything. So he was like, hey, do you know of anything? And I thought, and I looked, and I said, no. I said, if you give me a couple of weeks, I think I can actually build it for you. <laughs> and so that's kind of uh, where it led. And I, I got to tell you, it blew up way bigger than I thought. Speaking here at Black Hat, Wired did an article on me. And the emails that I got for still to this day, people um, using it for search and rescue, I think one of the biggest tear jerkers was a gentleman who reached out and said his wife was uh, worked in an emergency room in a hospital. Okay. And pretty much every week, doctors and nurses there were getting death threats from people, and they were using this to help give them a little peace of mind. And he's like, your wow. device is helping people save. It's like, feel safe. And it's just like helping people sleep. It's like, it's getting dusty in here, you know? I'm, wow. trying, I'm sitting there at my desk in my office, like trying to fight back a little tear reading this email. So it's been amazing. It has been. And to say like the improved and updated version, I wrote this before AI. It was me writing the code and I am a lot of things. A programmer is not one of them. And so now that we have AI to help me write the code, an update was long overdue.